is for proper sealing is correct. So which part is involved there? The sealing between which are the two parts? Anything similar? Not head. Question answer. Yes. Okay. So why should we study surface finish machine? So one of the most common applications where surface finish plays an important role is fatigue. What is fatigue? Somebody say. We are all fatigued sitting at home <laughs> due to lockdowns. So, what is fatigue? Okay, so fatigue is one area, then friction. Wherever there is friction between two surfaces. Surface finish is important. Then the wear between two surfaces, surface finish is important. Leakage between two surfaces, surface finish is important, etc. Number of applications are there where surface finish is very important. So what is fatigue? So fatigue is the reduction in strength when the part is subjected to cyclic load. Okay, so if you are a part is subjected to a static load, you can understand say 100 kg, but when it is subject to a cyclic load that is increasing and decreasing, then it can it cannot understand 100 kg, it may be able to understand only 50 kg. Okay, so that is. Stress load versus number of cycles curve is the SN curve. So fatigue. So why do we get that behavior? So fatigue starts or a crack starts at a point of high stress concentration. So fracture origin, intergranular fracture. Region. So the Locally, even though the average stress is okay, here there may be a high stress and there a small crack will start. Then slowly, every cycle, especially the materials are not able to withstand tensile loads. Compressive load you can withstand easily, but tensile load, the crack will slowly load. So one by one, every cycle slowly goes forward. And then so, so okay, this is the crack propagation region. So this is the fracture origin, intergranda fracture here. Then crack progress, you can see the uh, striations. And after some time, then the lot the area has reduced very much, and now it is not able to withstand the torsion, so final torsion power. Okay, so fatigue. So the crack initiation depends a lot on the surface finish. So surface finish, if it is there's a very sharp groove or line there, so that acts as a point of stress concentration, and the high stress occurs locally there, which starts the yielding there and results in propagation of the crack. So surface finish is very important. In Applications where fatigue happens, that is cyclic load is there. For example, aircraft and all, they have a certain number of cycles. After that, aircraft is not flown. Why? Because aluminum has a particular behavior. So there is no endurance limit. So suddenly it starts failing. It will, the strength keeps on reducing. So after some time, even a small load, it will fail. But as for steel, there is something called the endurance limit. Okay, so that is all a different subject. 
So any anyway, surface finish is very important in fitting. Then friction. So the resistance to friction, resistance to motion. So that depends on the surface roughness. Okay. For between very rough surfaces, for example, on a lake, the carriage has to move along the slide, isn't it? So if the surface is not very smooth, what will happen? So the force required to move it will be very high. And then force uh, the it may get damaged also. Similarly, wherever there is rubbing motion. So when somebody just what surface is this? This is an engine part. Can somebody identify what part is this? I don't know. Now, uh, previously, a lot of people used to be in uh, that uh, SAE, Saha, Baha, lot of that. Uh, they used to involve so a lot of people. We used, used to get a lot of answers from that. <laughs> but you are missing all that activity. Okay, so this is an engine cylinder. And why do we get this pattern? So not all engines have this pattern, but bond engine cylinders have this crisscross pattern. Okay, boning is an operation where uh, two carrying an abrasive stick, this is reciprocated and rotated inside the cell. Okay, so that results in this crisscross pattern. So advantage of this is that there are small pockets formed at the meeting point of two lines, two cutting, two the abrasive grains will cut in two directions and resulting in a small pocket here. So that pocket is able to retain oil or lubricant. So engine, you know, when you add engine oil to the petrol, isn't it? Or of course in two stroke, in two stroke or the power engines and all, we keep it, we have a separate oil pump which is added to the, which splashes oil into the cylinder. So the oil is retained in these pockets. So all such properties depends on the surface. So we have to measure the surface and see that it is appropriate for our functional requirements. So we have to measure the surface. So how do we quantify the surface? Okay. So for all that we need to learn how to measure Surface. Then where? So where? What is where? Where does where take place? Wherever there is continuous rubbing. So even between piston and cylinder, the piston moves up and down large number of times. So where happens? Part, material of the piston will get slowly worn out. And of course, uh, the previous case also is important. So, between this term and the cylinder, friction should be minimum. So, that is why we have that, uh, we do the honing. So, that it retains the oil and that oil filling is there between the piston and cylinder. So, that the force required is lower, thereby improving the efficiency of the engine. Okay, so that there are some of the techniques used to improve the efficiency of the engine. But I don't know, maybe within a few years, all this will be unnecessary. If uh, electric vehicles are going to take over, then all these uh, mechanical engines, we may not have to study within a few years. Okay, so where happens whenever there is rubbing between parts, so piston center also there is rubbing, and between, for example, this worm wheel and gear. Okay, so the worm wheel rotates at a high speed, causing rotation of the worm wheel, and the gear teeth gets rubbed and worn out. So after some time, the gear profile and all will change, and then it will not work properly. So all that, so 
the wear weight depends on the surface. So if the surface there are a lot of peaks on the surface, then those peaks will wear away very fast. But if there are large valleys, the valleys may not be affected, may not affect wear very much. So if it is surface with more peaks, then it will get worn out very fast. So all that depends on again surface texture. The leakage between surfaces. So what is this part? Can somebody guess? This is not this tank. This is a wall, an engine wall. So, wall is used to seal the space in the cylinder. Okay, so we close the wall and then the air in the cylinder is compressed. Okay, so, we have an inlet wall and exhaust wall. So, Inlet valve we take in fuel, exhaust valve we send out the exhaust gases. So two valves will be there. So the valve has to seal the cylinder surface. So this is the seating surface, valve seat. Okay, so the surface finish here is very important. So I was working earlier that the Rani engine was in Hyderabad. So they were used to manufacture engine valves. So, earlier two stroke engines did not have valves, and then Hero Honda was the first, not Hero Honda, Honda was the first to introduce four stroke. Two, so, I mean, uh, earlier two wheeler engines did not used to have valves, two stroke engines don't need valves, whereas four stroke engines need valves. So, Honda introduced four stroke two wheeler engines, and then valves. We develop one of the first walls for Honda, Hero Honda in India the first time, that was seven years back. So prior to that, they were importing the engines. Okay, so again, the surface here is important. So, all seat is uh, ground. And earlier, they used to do lapping. So, lapping is a manual process and time consuming. So they want to, nowadays they don't do lapping. So the valve grinding has improved so much so that you don't need to lap the surface. Otherwise they used to apply the roadside mechanic, he will repair engines by lapping and polishing the surface and then it will maintain the pressure. So if you are not able to maintain the suction pressure or have leakage happens, then you either change the valve and you have to suit it to the engine surface by lapping. So, in um, companies, they don't do this lapping. Okay, so there are the different applications of surface finish, the surface finish is very important. There are many more, just giving some examples. Okay, so what is the aim of the designer? So, the designer has to design a product which will give the best performance. So he has to specify the roughness so that you get maximum performance. For example, between a piston and cylinder, if the surface finish is very good, what will happen? You make it very smooth, just like a gauge block. Then what will happen between piston and cylinder? The piston will seize with the cylinder. Okay. Or if it does not cease, the force required will be very more, so efficiency will come down. So, performance of the engine will come down if it is very smooth. So, what we want is not as smooth a surface as possible, but the, a surface such that the performance is maximum. So, how do we specify a surface which will give maximum performance? And then once you specify a surface, then you have to measure it also. So that is our subject. 
So we want to get maximum performance. So how does the designer specify surface surface in a drawing? So this is the notation for specifying surface finish in a drawing. So all surface finish measurement has to start with this. All surface finish is specified. So ISO 1302 2002 specifies the. So this is the surface finish symbol. So we have a square root sign with a line over this portion. Okay, so that is a symbol for surface finish. Then, depending on the position A, B, C, D, E, we can write various numbers there, which will mean various things as per this legend. So, of course, if we have a line here, it means material removal required. So we have to issue it. We should not leave it as it is. So if you have a circle here, it means material removal not allowed. So that means which is a glass surface and all, it should not machine the surface. Then A stands for surface parameter. So what parameter is that you are going to specify? So various parameters we learn. So for example, one parameter is Is there a problem? Sometimes it's a loss of connection. Okay, so A, B is uh, secondary surface parameter. C is manufacturing method. So whether you have to do grinding or whether you can do EDM, etc. So you have to specify the surface manufacturing method. Then D is the lay. So what is the direction of lay? So that we have certain symbols here for lay. So this two lines stands for parallel lay. So parallel to the surface to the to the, to the paper. That is the meaning. Perpendicular. Lay means you have to do this symbol. X is cross hatched. So, honing and all results in a cross hatched pattern. Multi directional M, so EDM and all results in a multi directional pattern, or even milling, M milling results in a multi directional pattern. And C is circular. So, a lathe facing in a lathe results in a circular pattern. R is radial. Suppose you are reshaping maybe sometimes. P is particulate. So additively manufactured surface into all the the particulate surface is like there. So these are the various parameters for specifying surface condition. So uh, we write this like this. VFSL. So this is the surface parameter which is expressed as VFSL. RZ and C D, where D means total direction, upper or lower. So you can have U means that is a maximum, L means that is a minimum. The value F is filter type, for example, 2RC. So this is one type of filter. So what type of filter to be employed can be specified with the design area. Then SL, S stands for short filter cutoff for removing noise. L Long filter cutoff for removing variance. So, what is this cutoff? What is noise? What is variance? All these we have to draw. Then, R is profile type. So, profile can be primary, variance, or roughness. So, all this we have to define. So, many terms are there. So, surface image is a very big topic. There are specialist books which cover only surface image measurement. 
And there are also companies also which which who manufacture surface with machine instruments, which meet only with the I have given some links, I think, in the server to some of those companies who, and the software people to make software to analyze surface structure. So then this assessment link is multiple of sampling lengths, usually five. If not specific, it is five sampling lengths. So what is all this we have to learn? Three is the comparison rule, maximum for 100 percent, 16 percent for 116 percent. So 16 percent means the value can be 16, 116 percent of the specified value. Still it is accepted. This specified value in micrometer. So this is the value. Three micro, five micro, whatever you want. So this is how surface finish is specified in the one. So please learn this simple notations. So there will be some questions in English about this one. Okay, any question on this? Okay. So this is an example. So here there's a line here it means that machining is necessary. So the lay is perpendicular. Primary pattern is so the type of machining is turning, manufacturing method is turned. So, lambda S value, short given cutoff is 0 0.0025, cutoff is 0.8. So, varying between these two is considered to be roughness, or something like this. Upper value of RA should be 0 0.9, should not exceed 0 0.9. Lower value of RA should not go below 0 0.4. Lower limit of RA, upper limit of RA is 0 0.9, lower limit of RA is 0 0.4. Then, upper limit of RZ is 5. So, nothing is mentioned, this is upper limit. Surface layer is perpendicular to plane of projection of view in which the symbol is used. So in this plane, it is the layer should be perpendicular to the plane of this surface. Okay, so that is all the meaning of this symbol. Okay, so that is how designers specify surface finish in the Now we come to the history of surface finish. 